Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. Today you're going to learn how you can uh, get color ideas for your app. So usually when you build an app and then you'll try to look for colors, if you choose color A for example, then you need to look for a darker color, a darker version of that color and then you have to look for another for an accent color and then you need to do some matching to check if they both match and they look nice right and that's like it takes a lot a lot of time to finally decide on the colors that you find them suitable so today I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a lot easier for you to uh, find color ideas for your app so let me show you let me open up the my browser here and we have this site that is called materialpalette.com so what this does is it gives you color ideas that you can use them inside your app. So you can see here we have so many colors to choose from. If you if you choose red, and red would be the main color, and if you choose another color, let's say blue, so you can see here it gives you like an overview idea of how these colors will be applied and how they will finally look like in an app. So the red color is applied the darker red color is applied in the status bar and the primary color is applied in the, the toolbar and finally the accent color is applied to the floating action button. So these are how the, the colors will appear in the app and on the bottom right side here we have the, uh, the color codes that you can actually copy them and paste them inside the app. So we have so many different uh, color variations we have the primary color we have light we have primary color so we have dark light primary we have accent and we have primary text so you ha you have full customization on the type of colors that you can apply them to your app you can choose other colors if you want to so if, let's say you want to go with green and for the accent color you want to go with deep orange and or if you want to go with amber, with amber and gray. So you can see you can play around with these colors, choose the one that you feel like nice for your, nicer for your app, and then just copy the colors. So the copy the colors into your app can be done in two ways. So the first one is if you want to copy, you can copy them individually. What I mean by individually is we have the dark color, so just click on that, and it says that here this color is copied to your clipboard. So you go back to, to your Android Studio and inside the resource folder values uh, go with the go to the colors.xml file and you look for the color primary dark and you just paste that here. So you can see that when you paste the color it will appear on the left side here that this is the color they have pasted. Now we go back to the site again and then we'll grab the primary color that's copied and then you paste it right here and we'll do the same thing for the accent color so for the accent color we have this uh, gray here copy that and paste it right here okay so we have the colors uh, inside our project so what we can do is run the app and let's see how the that appears inside the emulator alright so we have the colors the bell is complete and here are the colors inside the app. So we have the dark color, we have the, the primary color, and we have the accent. Right now you can't actually see the accent because we don't have any views inside the app or we don't have the floating action button. But if you have that, or if you have if you have edit text or any type of view, then you'll be able to see the the accent color ap uh, appearing inside the app. So that is one way of copying and pasting the colors inside the your project. Another way is if you don't want to copy them individually, what you can do is you can see this download button. So you click on that, then it shows you different uh, ways of how you want to copy these colors. Because right now we are working with XML uh, files, right? So we have this option that says XML. So what you can do is download, click on that, and the file is downloaded and it is open right here. So what you can do is just copy the whole thing 
that'll be a lot easier. Just copy the whole thing and then go back to your project and you paste it right here. Okay, now I have a duplicate line, so I'm just going to remove that. And we have the colors right here. So what you can do is you know, just run the app and see how that looks like in the emulator. Okay, there seems to be an error here. In the styles.xml file, we have the color primary. There's a color everywhere. Color primary, whites, whites, red. Oh, okay, because we've pasted the colors with different color names and inside the styles.xml file, it can, it can find the, 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 the color name. So what you can do is just go back to your color and paste the color names and copy and paste them here. So we have color primary. We'll do the same thing for the primary dark and we'll do it for the accent color as well. So we have the accent. Okay, let's build our one. All right, so build is complete. Let's open up the emulator and here we have the colors. Okay, so go back to the colors. So these are the colors that I have copied and pasted in your project, and that's how they appear inside the app. Cool, right? I mean, like this is a lot easier for you to choose the colors for the app. Just choose the ones that uh, matches, copy the colors, and they just paste them in the app, and then it's uh, it's a job done already. You don't have to like figure uh, try to figure out whether this matching, or you have to look for the darker color of that version. This is this is a lot easier so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you again and happy coding